So we got Penn State, West Virginia. Line is sitting right now at minus seven and a half. Counting what book you're looking at. It was pretty high. It was at like nine and a half. It's dropped down to seven and a half going to Morgantown out there at Penn State. <coughs> Line is now total points is 50, uh, 50 and a half. So how do we break down this game and how we look at this game? Well, we know that if you don't know, now you will know after watching this, is that, excuse me, man, let me get a drink of water. So excited to get this going and talk. Betting college football, can't ca got to catch my breath. So, like I was saying, West Virginia, as of right now, has returned all three of their top rushers, including the quarterback, um, Gary Green, who's coming back. Kind of a gunslinger, but this team is a run-first team, right? They had over 2,400 yards of total rushes between those three top rushers all back. And they are coming back pretty much with the same offensive staff that they had last year. So this offense is not going to change really too much. It's going to be the same thing that we saw last year. Now, remember remember two years ago, uh, they came to Happy Valley, got smoked a little bit, 38 to 16, I think it was. Dad, yeah, remember, that was the game where Franklin ran at the end with like six seconds left, and he ran a touchdown in. Crushed everybody's ticket for the cover and the over crush. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> so um, I know Franklin was taking that and laughing that one to the bank to his uh, his Vegas buddies and his sports voters because you know that there was no reason to do it. The game was won, no reason to do it at all. So, but that's the game, and that's uh, gambling for you. But. What I do like in this game is I'm going to start off my first best bet with a little bit of teaser, a little bit of teaser action. We need ESPN bets to do this. You can't do this on the other ones. So this is what I want you guys to do, right? Because Penn State, they lost some guys, right? But this defense was the best defensive line probably statistically last year. Um, if you look at the stats, I think they were maybe third, but across the board, all top 10 at defensive line statistics. Um, Chop Robinson, they lost some, you know, these big programs, they lose people to the draft, right? But they do return their big running backs. They lost some some key guys up uh, in, in, the, uh, in the trenches there. But I do believe that this team is still stacked and Drew Aller is going to be um, on a run this year. They got a new offense coordinator from what we heard or what we know, uh, a lot of pa uh, pass action, play action, pass action. Play action passes, but what do you need to do to set up play action? You need to run the ball. Allen and Singleton are back. But the reason why I'm going and kind of telling you all this is because I really like the under in this game, and I like it straight, but I like it teased up. So what we're going to do here is I think Penn State wins the game. We'll take Penn State. We'll take the total, right? Now, you see me watching on the right here. We're going to go to teasers. So right now, it's at plus 150, which is not bad, right? But I don't like that four and a half. I do think Penn State probably wins by a touchdown, but I don't like that four and a half. I'm going to take it down to plus 100, so we're even money here. So $100, a $100 bet will win you $100, and I really like this bet. This is, one of, this is my best bet of the day. We're going to take – Penn State at minus two and a half. We're going to take the uh, total, tease it up to 55 and a half using a five point teaser, get in at a plus 100. We're going to go ahead and put that's a two unit bet for me. Two units for me, or a unit is $100, counting where your bankroll is or however you want to bet. Um, but this is $200 for me, 200 bet, 200 is the win, 268. Lock that in. That is my first best bet of the day. Penn State, te uh, two-leg teaser, Penn State to win pretty much, which is, you know, two and a half. But you get the hook, but you get it under the key number three and, and kick up that total, I think, over the key number probably 51 and a half, 52. Um, it's going to be a lot of running in this game. Run, 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 run. And you got 
a really good running offense against a really good running defense. And, you know, Garrett Green, the quarterback for West Virginia, they don't really scare you. They don't really scare you to throw the ball. Uh, so uh should be a great game out there in West Virginia. Um, but uh, I think Penn State goes up there and handles business, as they say. All right. So that is my first best bet of the day. Make sure y'all lock that in. Drop a comment. We are, if y'all like that Penn State bet. 